This video will outline the operation of the fuel injection self-diagnostic system and the fuel injection diagnostic tool. The engine control unit contains the self-diagnostic functions, which continually checks the FI system to determine if specific circuits are working within defined limits, and set an error code if the system detects a failure or abnormal signal. If the ECU detects a problem, an error code is recorded in the temporary memory of the ECU, and the malfunction indicator lamp will come on. The ECU does have the capability to indicate error codes with a blink pattern of the malfunction indicator lamp, but this blink code can be very confusing to decipher, especially when there are multiple current error codes. It's really important that you have the Yamaha FI diagnostic tool in your service department, which provides these functions. Current mode displays active error codes, meaning errors that have not been repaired or have not moved into history after the repair. Diag mode allows you to see the following information in real time as the engine is running. History displays error codes for failures that have been repaired and moved into history from current. Clear erases error codes from history, and property is not used for service work. An important point about current and history. All repairs should follow this order. First repair the failure, then cycle the main switch off and then back on and start the engine. The ECU will see the circuit is fixed or see the correct voltage value and move the code into history. Then the last step is to delete the error code from history. Old codes in history can confuse you. There is no time or date stamp on the history code, so you can't tell if the error code in history was from yesterday or one year ago. In the case of components like ignition coils and fuel injectors, if these components fail during operation, an open wire for example, the ECU will display the appropriate error code and the engine will continue to run on one cylinder. If that wire becomes reconnected while the engine is still running, the malfunction indicator lamp will go off and the error code will move to history, but the ECU will not reactivate that cylinder until the main switch is turned off and the ECU powers down, which takes about 15 seconds. So if you find a loose connection while the engine is running, Shut the engine off, wait until the ECU powers down, and restart the engine to see if reconnecting the part fixes the problem. The ECU will use a default setting for most failures to allow the equipment to continue to operate if at all possible. For example, if the MAP sensor fails while the engine is running, the ECU will set the atmospheric pressure to over 17 psi. Now this is below sea level. This makes the air calculation very high, so the ECU will make the fuel rich to maintain the target air fuel ratio. This setting might result in poor engine starting and poor drivability. There are some faults when the engine will not run. The service manual will list the running ability for all error codes. The FI diagnostic tool connects to the engine wire harness with the 4-pin multi-connector. The green power light comes on and the display will say waiting as soon as the tool is connected. When the key is turned on, the display will show select and current. Pressing the up or down buttons toggles the display between current, diag, history, clear, and property. Press the mode button to select the displayed function. The current mode will display any active or current codes, or indicate that there are no current codes. If there are multiple active codes, this number indicates the code currently displayed and the total number of codes are indicated here. Press the up or down buttons to toggle the display through all active codes. The warning light will also be illuminated when there's a current error code. Other videos in this fuel injection series will give you in-depth troubleshooting and diagnostic info on each FI sensor and circuit. Be sure to watch all of them and pull them up on your smartphone whenever needed. Thanks for watching.